Hey guys, real quickly, I wanted to do a quick little tutorial to talk about uh, just some texturing tips in Photoshop and just some something I'm working on right now, sort of a summer series and wanted to add a little bit of a grunge uh, look to some of this text and so I thought this might be um, a helpful series. You, know, you might think you need to find a bunch of little brushes or something to make these uh, types of looks, but you really don't have to. So I'm gonna walk through real quick how I do that. Um, so what I did, I'm just gonna delete this real quick. And uh, so what I did is I went to um, Unsplash and found some, I'm actually gonna keep this one, that one, I like that one a lot, I'm gonna come back to that. Uh, so I found a couple of little textures like this one here and that one I was just looking at, this cloud stuff, it's got some really cool little particle pieces in here. Um, so I'm gonna teach you how to kind of take these and make some of your own little spec type of uh, texture. So first thing I did was download those and then I'm gonna save them to a folder that I'm working out of. Uh, so let's grab this folder here, get this out of the way, and I'm just gonna drag that image into there. I think that's my cloud shot, there we go. So the first one is gonna be, let's see, this one here, this Annie Spratt um, picture here. So I'm gonna right click on that, open that up in Photoshop, so it's its own little graphic here and so i've already got it um, open but i'm going to turn these off so what i did this is the the actual graphics what i did was i added a levels and a hue and saturation so uh, the first thing i did was yeah just drop that saturation all the way down so it's just black and white and then i'm going to go to the levels um, option here and here i'm going to sort of crush the whites and the blacks um, into just a really um, high contrast image so i'm just sliding these little dials back and forth probably going to get pretty tight here somewhere around in there I just want some of these uh, little black specks to start showing up somewhere around in here something like that all right so what I could do is uh, just save this out as a as, as a JPEG if I want or I could just take this whole folder here I'm just going to um, group it we'll call this uh, specs one hit okay so now I can right click Go to duplicate group and since i have that one already open i'm going to go to uh, summer 2020 hit ok and we're going to go back to some 2020 psd up here and it's massive it's super massive so i don't need it to be that big so i'm going to just scale this down it look pretty much all the way down i'm going to rotate this sort of fit my image here like that okay hit enter I'm going to zoom in so you can see all these little specks in here now. And so now I'm going to drop this down below my noise layer, which I can get into that in a minute. But uh, then I'm going to just do some different uh, blending modes on this actual folder. So with that folder selected, holding down shift and go through plus and minus um, with the, uh, the keyboard and seeing what I get. So there's a, sort of a black version there. I'm going to keep going and it should get to a point where it sort of inverts those colors. Um, and you get some really cool little different, uh, different styles as far as the color goes. But I'm just going to keep on going. Kind of cool too. And that's sort of what I'm looking for right there is that divide. Um, if you want it to be a little less than this, you can just go into that folder, click on that levels option, and start adjusting these little tabs again. So that's going a little bit too much. So I'd probably slide this all this way. A little more. I just wanted just a hair of that in there. That's looking pretty good. So again, you know, that was just a, um, a concrete texture. And I think most of the time, for, for the longest time, I would just say, well, I guess that's just that. That's just the image I'm working with. So I would drag this in, and you know, rotate this, whatever, scale it up. Oops. Scale this up here, and. I would just start flipping through blending modes. And if it just didn't work, I was like, oh, well, that's that's not the texture I need. I got to try something else. So I started messing around with actually messing with those original files. So this one just isn't getting giving me anything I'm really looking for. So I'm just going to delete that. But now I have this nice looking sort of customized text. I'm going to do the same thing with um, that other image I had. I think it was this one here. And I'm going to open that in Photoshop. All right, so I'm going to uh, click over here and just hit Command J to get rid of this locked layer. And I'm actually going to duplicate this because I want to get rid of these clouds. So I'm going to uh, duplicate it and then I'm going to hit Command T. I'm duplicating, duplicating with Jama uh, Command J and I'm just going to rotate that. And now I can erase this stuff down here. So I'm going to hit uh, E on the keyboard, bump up that 
eraser tool and just kind of paint that out right there. Okay, so now we have this really cool looking texture. Um, I'm going to collapse that uh, into a folder. And I'm actually gonna, we'll, we'll drop a hue and saturation here, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna burn this hue and saturation into this image quite yet, because I may wanna actually mess around with that color some. Most likely not, but you never know. So hue and saturation's in there, gonna throw levels in there, that's curves. Gonna throw levels, and then just crush these down a good bit. Probably something like this. I need to go this way. That's what I'm looking for. Just some nice specs. There we go. All right, so let's close this down. We'll call this specs two. And I'm going to right click, duplicate group, and throw to summer 2020, hit okay. And go back to summer 2020. And again, my image is super big, so I'm going to scale this down. I'm holding down the option so it scales from the middle of that image. Take that. Oop, there we go. That transform, zoom in. Now we got these cool little specs here. And I'm going to, again, go through those uh, blending modes. I'm going to drop this down here below my noise layer. And I'm going to just start cycling through those blending modes until I see something that I like. Now we're getting these extra little specs here, which is looking pretty cool. You can turn those uh, off and on like that. Looking pretty good, so we'll keep on going, see what we else we get. Getting a little bit more there. You could do something like this, maybe even dial that back some more, going here to these levels. That even more, so you just get some maybe black specs in there. Kind of like that. But I could take that and maybe duplicate it. Um, right click and flip horizontal. Now I want to try to kind of get some white specs in there. And just shift and plus and minus on the keyboard to go through these blending modes. Go back into here in these levels, pull these back. There we go. We can call this uh, specs to white. And then I'll turn this back on black. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Uh, this feels good and it's kind of hard to control what's in the middle. So if you wanted to sort of clean up some of this middle stuff, I would just add a clipping mask to that folder. And with that little box selected, I'd hit B on the keyboard, put my brush tool here. And I'm going to keep it nice and soft. Opacity is about 60 and sort of paint some of these uh, little black specks out so it's not out of control. Probably the same thing with the white, and I can just duplicate this clipping mask and drop it up here, holding down the option and click it and drop it onto the white folder. Now it sort of cleans up that middle just a tad bit. I'm gonna invert this brush and maybe paint some of those back in just a little bit there. There we go. I don't wanna go too crazy. So that was just a quick little tip. Hopefully that's something you can use and utilize in your next design. Um, just try not to, you know, maybe instead of just grabbing a random image and dropping it on and see if it works, um, you know, mess around with some of those adjustment layers and see what kind of different uh, styles you can get from uh, just messing around with the levels and hue and saturation to get some cool textures. So I hope that helps and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.